you guys know I don't like Arthro, right? And I don't even need to explain why, like, it just sucks. Anyway, considering everybody's getting the scaling and adjustment update, I thought we could try something really interesting in today's video. We're going to be fixing those free Arthro accessories. Because if you guys have ever owned an Arthro bundle, which the chances are you probably have, I mean, there's quite a few free ones out there. That's what we're going to be focusing on in today's video as well, the free stuff. Well, pretty much if you would try and wear one of the accessories from one of these bundles, the chances are it probably just looks horrible and it doesn't fit your avatar whatsoever, especially if you just have like a normal blocky avatar. If you try and wear one of these accessories, it just clips through your avatar's head. It looks stupid. I'm sure you guys have encountered this before. So pretty much what we're going to be doing is using the new scaling update to fix Arthro accessories. And then we're also going to be wearing the 2D clothing version of the Arthro bundle pretty much to make it look cool. So yeah, let's um, let's give this a try. All right, we're going to start off with a free bundle, Knights of Red Cliff Paladin. This one is really popular, by the way. Look at this, 1.9 million favorites. That's bonkers. So the main thing about this bundle, which kind of looks cool, but it also sucks at the same time, is the helmet. And I've always wondered what this helmet looks like on an avatar when it's like properly scaled. If I was to try this on, you're going to say, yeah, what the hell is that? That's a load of crap. So we're going to scale this and get it looking properly. Actually, to be honest, that's even worse looking than I remember. What on earth happened to this thing? Let's try this then. If you guys just got this update, what you do is you go over to your avatar editor. Obviously, you've got to be using the desktop app then you go over to the adjustments tab then you just click on hats and um, yeah this is accessory adjustments so you can click on it and then what you do is you can well adjust it to fix it so obviously this is not the position you want it in it is better than what it was on the website though i'll give it that but you need to see out of a helmet you don't really need to eat out of one so let's position it there to my character's eyes maybe slightly lower something like that then i'll just turn my avatar around so it's still clipping through my avatar's head so that's something we've also got to fix which would be on the scaling tool so that means we just got to make it a little bit bigger there you go until it's like normal that's it now it's looking slightly too big so we're going to use the rotate tool and i think we're just going to use x to kind of just make it sit properly you might have to tweak it a bit and play around with it until you get it right but this is how you scale roblox hats guys and you can literally fix like the arthro stuff it's kind of incredible it's good we finally got this update you know so yeah that's actually looking pretty good now maybe something like that yeah i'm happy with that that looks quite nice maybe just like that a little bit there you go so i don't think i'm gonna get it more perfect than that i think that's pretty decent so let me just go and apply it we can see how it looks yeah not bad at all so now to complete it we need to add in a sword because you know he's a red cliff knight then we're gonna add in the 2d clothing version of the red cliff knight armor and there we have it maybe the orange on the armor doesn't exactly match up with the helmet too much but that looks way better than the arthro bundle like let's be honest up next we're going to be fixing the high seas beatrix the pirate queen and i'm not gonna lie guys i've not seen this on the marketplace in ages they didn't take it off sale or something did they i should probably find out but yeah we're gonna be fixing the hat this hat's kind of cool i know it's called the pirate queen but technically if you're a guy you can still use it it's just got a ponytail on but guy pirates had long hair anyway right this really does remind me of something like adventure quest worlds or world of warcraft or something like that but it's kind of like an iconic arthro accessory so it would be nice to fix it oh wait it is actually off sale what the heck when did that happen are you serious may 29th 2024 nobody even realized is that when the hunt was going on maybe i guess that's why it got overlooked yeah i don't think i made a video about that how strange is that i wonder why they took it off sale oh well let's go and fix this thing so just like the knight's helmet it just covers your avatar's eyes i don't know why so many afro accessories do that clearly they're just not scaled to work with r15 so let's go and select this thing and um yeah let's fix it this one's also going to be like a really easy fix by the way so i guess we're just going to maybe just scale it up a bit there you go looks better already then we just need to enlarge it just so the hair comes through maybe something like that if i just turn my avatar around oh wow that's actually really good that fits in really well that bit's still clipping through so if we can fix that so that's the biggest it goes still clips a little bit we might be able to fix that on the rotation hey look at that that's wicked now we're just going to drop it down just a tiny bit so that'd be Y just like that oh wow this one's so clean I like that so um yeah I guess we're gonna wear the 2d clothes as well I did just realize that there isn't like a 2d version of Beatrix it's just this random pirate costume but whatever it'll do and I really can't be bothered to go into Photoshop and make one but there you go that's the um non afro version of Beatrix I guess we can have a look at this one in the game as well I don't know why I decided to put the original pirate bundle on because it just made the uh, 2D 
shirt and pants look all dodgy and pixelated, but whatever. We're focusing on the hat mainly, and yeah, it does actually look sick. This hat is actually really decent considering it's free. I mean, we've never seen it look this good before on a non-Arthro character, so um, yeah, a pretty cool trick if you guys want to try this. I guess you could even use that free Roblox pirate clothing they made years ago. And the final free bundle for today's video is the junk bot. I like the junk bot. Who remembers the junk bot flamingo raids from, was that 2021? I don't know, such a long time ago though. The junk bot's cool because it comes with a free backpack and then also a free hat, but obviously we're going to be focusing on the hat because you can't transform backpacks unfortunately. To be fair, the scaling on this was never really that bad anyway. It just could be a little bit better so we can tweak it and improve it a little bit. Yeah, I guess we don't really have much to do for this one, but um, we can try and make it look nicer anyway. It'd be interesting to see how cool we can get it. So one thing I kind of want to do is just like move it down a bit just to cover the avatar's forehead because um, it looks kind of messy that way. Maybe, okay, yeah, bring it out a bit like that. Let me try and sort this thing out. So I think it would be like that. Yeah, because the back of this normally clips through. So if you can get it something like that, that's how you want to get it. There you go. I'm happy with that. I only scaled it down just a little bit. So let's go and apply that. And that, guys, is the improved junk bot hat. We didn't really do much. We just scaled it down a little bit and just sort of positioned it a little bit better. Now it doesn't show off your avatar's forehead. I also just put on the Magda bot because it's kind of classic, you know, just fits in. So then let's go and wear the 2D clothing. And this is pretty much what a junk bot would look like if it was made in 2008. Yeah, look at that thing. That looks so funny. This one honestly turned out so cool. It just looks so funny. I also just put on one of those like classic 2008 retro faces because I just thought it would fit in really well. You could also add a robot face as well if you want it more like the original junk bot. But I think the old Roblox vibe really works with this one. And there we have it, guys. Just three bundles which are free. Well, two of them are still free, but most of you probably have the pirate one anyway. And you can now scale the Afro hats to fit them. If you'd like to see another video where I take Afro bundles which cost Robux and fix the accessories on those as well, then yeah, maybe I'll do that in the future. Let me know in the comment section. But that's it for today.